Hi guys, this is Trisha coming to you with a segment that I've come up with called Trisha's Beauty Corner. So um, I'm going to be doing products or um, products that I think you guys would like, products that I love and use, and just recommendations of things. So this segment, I'm going to start off with the lipsticks and then I'm going to move on to skincare, to eyes, to brushes, to whatever other things that I think you guys might like. So I'm going to start off with some of my lipstick, the basic ones that I think everyone who has a lipstick collection should have. So I'm going to start with my nudes. The first nude I'm going to start off with is Velvet Teddy. This is what Velvet Teddy looks like. And it's a MAC lipstick and it's also a matte finish. Velvet Teddy was my very first nude from MAC. So I'm going to do a swatch of that. It's a pinky type of nude. That's what I like to go for. Let me, I hope you guys can see it. That's what it is right there. It's right there. The next one is Wet n Wild Just Peachy. This is it. This is what it looks like. I love this one. There we go. That's what it looks like. And I do like pinky nudes. So I generally go for a pinky nude lip. And then last one in the nudes are YSL number one Rouge Velopte. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And this is a real pinky nude. Okay, that's it at the top right here. It's very pretty. Love it, love it, love it. So, those are my nudes. I try to pick a few of each color. So, I'm going to go on to my pinks. Now, pinks are my favorite lips. Pink lip. I will do anything pink lip. So, the first one that I'm going, going on to is... Flat Out Fabulous and it's a matte lipstick and I'm choosing lipsticks that you can still find. I'm not choosing anything um, limited. I, Flat Out Fabulous just came out not too long ago but it's also in the, the, um, the permanent collection. This is a matte and let me swatch it right here and it's blue, blue base. It's a blue base pink which I like. So that's Flat Out Fabulous. The next one is seriously one of my very, very favorites. And this is um, Urban Decay Anarchy. And there we go right there. That's Anarchy. It's also blue based, which I like too. The next one is number 11 YSL. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch that. That's it right there. And the last one is Girl About Town. This was my very first pink lipstick from MAC. And these are all blue base pink lipstick, which I like and I think looks really good on um, my skin tone. So there are my pinks that I would recommend for you guys to get. Now I'm gonna move on to my purples. So let's get into the purple. First purple lipstick I ever bought was Up the Amp from MAC. And this is what it's swatch like. Very nice. Amplified finish. Very creamy. Very nice. Up the Amp. The next one is Shameless. And this is a Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm. Very nice. There we go. Very nice, true, great color. And the next one is a deep grape kind of berry. Yeah, kind of berry lipstick. I'm looking through the window because it's snowing like crazy. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And this is called Shame. And let me put Shame right there. It's a berry purpley dark color. And the last one that I'll be moving on to, wait that, are my reds. The first red is Red Velvet, 
and this is a wet and wild and this is a true red let's get all that baby wipe off there we go that's red velvet the next one is ruby woo and this was my first red lipstick from mac which i think is the first red lipstick for a lot of people and again it's a blue base red and it's a matte finish and i think everybody know about ruby woo and that's it right here I like, I kind of like Riri Woo a little bit better based on the application, but I know it's a limited edition, so that's why I didn't show that one. The last one is F-Bomb. F-Bomb is a must. It's a cherry red. This is it. And you only really need one swatch. Look at that. And you get all that color payoff. So yeah, guys, those are the lipstick I recommend. And um, thank you for watching. And once I said it, ugh, now I'm stuttering. And as I said before, um, I will have other products that I will be doing and other skincare, also hair care because I do have natural hair. Right now I'm in a protective style because I do my own protective style and it takes a while to do. So yeah, it's time to do over but it's like eight hours it's long that's how long it takes me because i'm doing it myself so yeah so there will be um hair care in there so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye